up guys it's me Maxim and today we'll be reviewing this uh, newly released uh, revolver gas powered gel soft revolver by Weird Who and uh, by the looks of the on the box it looks pretty good so let's go ahead and open it yeah Okay, the box looks really interesting. So here we can see a, a government country permit for this blaster. Yeah, um, not really important. And this uh, pamphlet, that's well also not really important. As you can see in this picture, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. The GoPro's weird. Um, there's a there's a bunch of rivets there, which is interesting. Check on that later. First, I'll put these two things over here. Okay. Now to the main guy, main show. So this is a. Well, well, Webley Mark VI revolver, but it says Mark V. I'm not sure what they meant by that. They are there are the shells. They are brass. Yes, and this gun is mostly also metallic. This hammer is metallic. Trigger metallic. Trigger guard is metallic. These parts that connect the gun. And the barrel are metallic. This tube is metallic. The inner tube is metallic. Uh, I'm quite sure even the main frame is metallic. Yes, it's, it feels cold to the touch. Hold on a sec. Hmm. This front is not metallic. It is made out of nylon. But overall it looks pretty good. And yes, this is also metallic, the uh, uh, release, which is really interesting. Now, this place is for the gas, so you take your uh, gas, mine is this R22 refrigerant that I have. It uh, doesn't really have any mm, lubrication in it, so not really uh, good but from the looks of it this gun doesn't require much lubrication not like the P1 or uh, where to uh, uh, M1911 John Wick TTI or I don't even remember what it's called so yeah let's take a few blank fire shots with no rounds hold these up Load these up one by one like the real one. And there is single single action, which is like that, and double action. Yes, I prefer the single action. Let's uh, take some shots. All right. Yes, those were just uh, blank shots just to see the uh, power now I'll try to load these up with uh, with some gel balls oh crowd is so hard to get up okay take these take the little cap I like to use a little cap to drain the water if I don't have a sieve or something yeah, that's just about enough for range test. And you load these up with the front. Not like the uh, ZP5 from Little Moon or the uh, Car 98K from Guys um, Hoho. These up. Alright. Six shots. 
shots and the last one yes now we just load it up this is a break open whoa well that just came out I think that's the point for the to eject the shells all right get this to a all right load these up one by one again just like the real one this is what I like about these uh, revolver or uh, bolt action guns rifles they uh, got a nice historical taste to it all right now I'll just shoot it and due to the coronavirus I can't really go anywhere but I'll be uploading a video next week uh, going down with it going down to the uh, corp the field I don't know how you people call it uh, yeah all right let's just shoot it double action Three shots double action, three shots single action. That one uh, failed there. Just gotta not make these fly out. Oh. None of them failed. Oh wait, there it was. Okay. So, all right. Let me just adjust the camera. Yeah. All right. That's it. There it doesn't seem to have any problem with this, but before I shot, I uh, tested it with it, and sometimes the uh, gels, these gels, would just get stuck in the in the inner tube yeah, without the gas it can't really go through oh that was interesting the gas actually travels through the air alright let me test that again oh no that just sucks anyway yep that's about it and uh, yes I did I did some paint job to it uh, the original real real one uh, from Britain the Webley mark 6 uh, that was produced in 1916 or something to 1936 I'm not quite sure it had a black black grip so I just took some spray paint and uh, yeah Oh yes, and also you can take this off if you screw if you unscrew this. Mine, uh, I already unscrewed mine, and it's kind of useless to screw it back. It doesn't really wobble. You just take it off, and you can see the uh, compartment for the gas. You can also release the gas by pressing on this with the hammer, so it shoots. You can just press it down, and all the gas is gone. Yes. Now this. Oh. Oh great. Okay. Oh that shut the hell up. Alright. So overall this gun costed me eight hundred RMB, which is a uh, I'm not sure. Depends on which currency actually. Hey Siri! How much is eight hundred RMB in uh US dollars. What would you like me to convert 800 uh, Chinese yuan to? US dollars. 800 Chinese yuan is 113 US dollars and 4 cents. Okay. Hey Siri. How much is 100 RMB converted into Australian dollars? 100 Chinese yuan is 20 Australian dollars and 10 cents. Yeah, uh, this can't be that cheap. Well, hold on a second. That's 800 RMB converted into Australian dollars. It's 160 Australian dollars and 80 cents. Yes, so for all you Australians out there enjoying gel blasting that is literally made in China, um, this is uh, affordable, but I'm not sure if you're retail, uh, retail guys or second uh, second hand sellers will allow this price I don't think they're gonna survive so uh yes 
Uh, I'm not sure if it came to the market yet. Don't ask me these questions. You could ask me these questions, but uh, don't. And I will not be doing a uh, opening video. We'll open it up. If 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 Logido Logido's Chop Shop makes that video, go ahead look at him. And uh, this well, this sucks. I I meant I mean I I meant uh, this sucks compared to this. Because this is electronic and it's so slow and it will run out of battery. Sit in the corner. And uh, yeah. Yeah, um, overall I think it's a pretty good gun compared to any, uh, any um, gas powered GBB or whatever you people call it out there. Um, but this one does not have a safety. That's what I figured out doesn't have a safety so I think British people back then they didn't need a safety I mean God save the Queen they were safe enough so why why need a safety <laughs> it's not like the Japanese had their Nambu fired at them into their knee while riding on a horse holstered it ah yes no okay then yes that's about it it on my video next time I will be uh, posting a video about this um, while going down, going down on a field, playing with other people. Be sure to uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.